Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Hugo, and today we're going to see how I should function to the track with the power of my flow. In this case, Nancy's flow. What we're going to do in this video, different from the others, is first change the way we trigger our API. Instead of triggering via a power app, we're going to trigger with the Postman as an API. Secondly, we're going to change our model driven app to create an option so we can categorize our videos, and we're going to create an instance flow. To automatically categorize our videos so stay around as I mentioned before the way we're going to call our power app is going to be via the API of the power app in this case we're going to call uh, with postman the second thing that we're going to do is change our model driven app to allow us to categorize our videos the third thing that we're going to do is to create automatic instance flow so as soon as the record is created on the model driven app you'll update the record with the correct instance and this way the record will be updated with the correct category so now let's see this so now let's open our browser and let's go to the power apps one of the first things that we're going to do actually is going to clean up the entire data that we have here matter of fact we don't need to do this but i want to do a clean sheet and now let's go back and let's open edit our solution let me close this so let's go for two videos edit so now we are here on our entity we're going to fields we're going to create new we're going to create category instead of single test we're going to do multi option sets so the goal here is to create two options, one for videos related to finance and videos related to code. So this one is going to be code, for example, the new one is going to be finance. From here I can distinguish which video is related to. Now save and close. Now we're going to the form, we're going to change the form, we, got, we need to add now, drag and drop the, the, the field into the form, which should be here, category, let's save, let's publish. Save and close. Now let's publish. Save and close. Now let's go here to view. Let's edit the active view. Let's have here uh, attributes, which is category. Uh, actually, here it's better. Let's save, save and close. And we are okay now so now let's save and close that's done so now let's go to the solution so and now on the solution we have the category so now this step it's done let's create our instance flow we're going to power automate or or just flow.microsoft.com once again the URLs are on the description Let's create the instance flow. Let's give a name. It's called videos category. And we're not going to select none of this. We're going to hit skip. And we're going to create our own. So now we're going to select our common uh, data service. Since we're working with the common data service to delete, update, or create, we need to use the premium, the premium licensing. So I'm going to select this one. We don't have uh, a free uh, for this one. So here what we want is to, when the record is going to be created, we're going to select the trigger condition, which entity we're going to work with, which be the YouTube videos. Once again, if you didn't saw my previous videos, I advise, uh, I advise you to see. 
the scope is going to be organization level. This may depend on the type of security level that you guys have. And we're going to have a new step. Now what we're going to do is to select the control. So the control is going to allow us to automatically categorize our video. If it's the type code or finance based on a specific condition. In this case, I'm going to use the name of the video. So let's hit control. Let's put a condition. And the condition is going to be based on the name. If the name contains, for example, dividends, if it yes, we're going to update our record. Select update. Update the record. So the entity here is going to be YouTube videos. The ID is going to be we can get, we can go here name, but in this case it's going to be YouTube video, I believe. Video? No. Actually, let me check here. YouTube videos here. So as you can see, we have a unique identifier for the entity. This means it's the quid that we need. We don't need this anymore. Here the name is going to be, we don't want the name. Actually what we want is to select the category and the category is going to be finance. So in case the name contains dividends, my video is related to finance. So I'm going to categorize as a finance. Therefore, the other video you're going to do exactly the same thing. Update the record. Entity name is going to be YouTube as well. The ID is going to be. Oh, let me go here. Actually, let me do. Let me jump to the other sides. And now, what we're going to put here is going to be category as code. Okay, so the test what I'm going to do, I'm going to run the API four times and these four times I'm going to have two videos related to code and two videos related to finance. So once this is done, we're going to hit save. We do a flow checker, no errors. So now we save, actually we need, let's give here a more interesting name. Let's hit save. Let's go back to our flows. And here we have our flow. So nothing was run yet. So the history it's empty yet. So now this is done. The instance flow it's created. Now what we need to do is to figure out the way how to call the Power app via the API. In order to do that, we need to go to the Azure. For the today's video, the call HS logic app doesn't matter. What we want is actually the this logic app, the first one that we've created, because this can be triggered by HTTPS. And this is what we're going to use. In order to do that, we're going to click on our Power App. Now we're going to our logic app designer. And here, when HTTP request is received, we're going to click this. So here is the basically our API that we need to call in order to evoke the commands to generate the record on our model driven app. So we're going to click here and we're going to our postman. I already have this uh, predefined. So here what we're going to do is actually copy paste the entire um, the URL that we just copy paste here. The solution automatically is going to define the parameters that I need to call this API. And on the body, if you remember on the first video that we've done, once again, it's above, you can check. We've created this JSON call, which allow us to call the solution via the Azure function. So let me just jump to the other side. So now we're going to call. We send the request and the request sent me back saying that the record was created. So now let's check on our solution. 
Let's go to our power app. The record was created. It was created, so this may take a while to update. Let's see here if the the relic succeeded. 23 seconds, not yet. It was. Let's check. And we have updated. So now let's go back to the postman. And we're going to run the other three. One, two, and three. Three different signations. Let's go back to the solution. Let's eat F5. So as you may see, this may take a while to update the records. Let's check here if, uh, if we have already all done. It seems so. Let's go back. So as you can see, you automatically, based on the dividends, you automatically updated. Uh, you categorized my video as a finance. And here, since it doesn't have dividends, he updated as code. Since we don't have dividends on the description, he updated as code. And here we can go to the link. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like. If you think I've missed something, please leave the comments. And once again, thank you guys and cheers.